on your uh, airsoft gun. Now, here's some math for you, uh, to just just so you just get in, you just figure this out like already. Uh, there's there since you're gonna be measuring in millimeters, they're stock uh, in a uh, AK SEMA. Sorry, I don't know SEMAs have this. Uh, they have 400. This is for this is volume for a 455 millimeter barrel. Um, I measured it. This is exactly 70, 73, 74 millimeters, somewhere between there. there there's room for error, and this is uh, it's actually going into there. So you have actually less than 73, and I'm going to say it's about three or four millimeters in there. You know, so this has about 70 millimeters of what you would call it. Now. Here's, here's what angle of engagement is. Um, angle of engagement isn't like, oh, how this thing meshes in with it, like while it's doing, because it's going to mesh in there perfectly at, at at some point, you know. And you're gonna you're gonna have to make that at some point thing. Um, you have to make it as uh, far forward as possible. So here's what you do: you push this thing really far forward, and you look at this. Push it down like this. Let me show you. See how shitty that is? See how that big fucking gap right there? What you want to do uh, to fix that is to basically uh, you're gonna you're gonna have to push this thing back with a sorbethane pad. Uh, now for me, here's what I did. This is the original uh, place where it's at right here. See that line right there? That was that's the original. Um, uh, yeah, what you might call it. Like that's that's where that's where it starts. Now, what I did is I pushed it back all the way to where it starts getting a perfect angle of engagement, and that was basically in this little area right here. See? And basically, you're gonna want to measure this. Now, what I got the number for this was um six millimeters. Basically around six millimeters. I, I got this stupid fucking yardstick right here. So you can still measure shit with it. Um, what I do is you just start at something, and you, you just you just go. You know, you just measure it. And you got six millimeters of this. This is how much sorbethane you're gonna need to correct the angle of engagement. Now six millimeters, uh, when you factor it into this you know, to see like, oh, how much air am I going to need for my gun. Uh, you're going to need a little bit of a shorter barrel. You, you just are. Because this, well now, under volume, this thing, uh, it'll volume it to the point where uh, the actual, like, properly volume barrel will be 411.34 millimeters long. I mean, more or less. And that's if you have perfect, perfect compression. Like, an FPS deviation of zero. Like you're losing no atoms whatsoever. That's what it would be. So basically, what I did is instead of using a 455, I used a 433. So there's like 22 millimeters of what I'm call it there, you know. And just being under volume is okay because you're already under volume when you use heavier BBs. God, that's what you do with jewel creep. You're supposed to actually volume your gun for a heavier BB, right? That's, that's like that's the definition of it. And when you have a uh, uh, the the barrel volume for the like stock barrels are volume for 0.2 gram BBs. So um, when you do a point, when you stick a 0.28 in that barrel, um, basically it's volume for 60% um, of that because a 0.28 weighs 40% more than a 0.20. I don't think I, I think that's how math works. So it starts decelerating. At 60% uh, of the barrel length, like, like so, whatever 60% of 433 is, that's when it starts accelerating and just like that's when you cut it to get maximum jewel creep with that BB weight. I mean, you cut it farther because you have shitty compression, but um, yeah. And basically, the uh, the thing is, you're gonna have to do this. That's what you, that's what you're gonna have to do. Then you're gonna have to find sorbethane pads that um, actually like add up to that number. Now, um, 
six millimeters is uh, it, it, it? What fucking number is that? Uh, I didn't really look at the fraction. Actually, I didn't really care for it. Uh, an inch is 21.5 millimeters. What you do is you divide 21 point, you divide six by 21.5 to get the actual decimal, and I got 0.27 of an inch. And basically, the closest you could get was like 0.31. And what I did is I got a 3/16th of an inch thick um, a neoprene pad, which is the rubber, and uh, a 1 uh thick. What one eighth inch thick uh, sorbethane pad and sorbethane compresses so basically you you have a bit of clearance with that because it's it's getting a squish you know and I got an M120 spring in this I mean it's it's it, it's it's uh it's pretty compressed so this thing already runs 400 fps exact it's not gonna go any lower unless my compression gets worse and um, it, it kind of is gonna get lower it's probably gonna go down to like uh, an equivalent of like 390 I guess Pro probably probably. Or something like that. Probably like fucking 395. I don't fucking know. I don't really care. Um, yeah. That's how it works. And also, um, yes, you can lubricate these things. You just stick some lube right in between the nozzle and the, uh, the, the, the brass nozzle. And another trick uh, when you do the uh, trigger thing. I know this isn't part of the fucking thing, but this is something everyone needs to know. It's everyone. Uh, get it, get it, get a neodymium magnet, and stick it right under there, and it'll hold the spring in, or like it'll help hold the spring in, like a strong neodymium magnet. Same thing with the uh, anti reversal latch. And um, that's about it. You know, it looks fucking great to me. This looks really good. Some people have to go even fucking farther. For some strange reason, they just have to go farther. I don't really get it. Just don't. Looks like shit. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. That's what it is. And golden engagement, guys.